My name is Mona Scream a lot, and welcome to my family movie night. This is my pet grandpa Oats. This is my puppy shrimp. This is my asshole druggy brother and the rest of my druggy family. And my poor oh, fucking grandma. Shit. And me and my crazy family have plenty of things lined up for you in our trashy treasure chest. HD, high defecation. All right, one of my favorite Christmas stories. This little tidbit of terror is called Trendish. Fitting for a pet. Man, oh man, today's the day. I've waited and it's finally here. The new Big Money Double Z video dropped. That hat is gonna make me the coolest kid in high school, finally. Mom, Dad, it's the best day ever. What'd you sprout your first pubes? Good one. No, not yet, but the new Big Money Double Z video dropped. Can't wait to see that great new hat. That's nice. Hey, well, how about if you get out of here? We're busy eating, can't you see? Okay, well, I'm out of this pop stand. I'm gonna go watch that video. Buzz off, numb nuts. Kid drives me fucking crazy, you know? It's like, it's like sucks the life out of me. Here, here, there you go. I don't know. I wish I understood him, but I really don't. These goddamn teenagers these days. I'm so sick of all these trends. Jesus Christ, why can't he be more like his brother? It's so much easier with Kyle. He just wants what is easy and simple. Nothing complicated about him. Yeah, but the only problem is that he is a serious DVD hoarder, and you know it. I love my DVDs! Oh, my sanctuary! My kingdom of DVDs! I have everyone! I have everything! All of them! But I still need more! It's here. It's here. The new Big Money Double Z. I gotta see this new video and see that great new hat. Enter. Hey, yo, wanna look like me? Wanna look like me? Wanna be like me? Wanna flow like me? What you got to do is buy my hat, buy my hat, and buy my hat, buy my hat, and buy my hat, and you can be just as cool as me. Yo, you might say, what is wrong? You're not even wearing your own hat. I don't need to wear my hat, because I'm already the coolest mofo all around. But if you buy my hat, you'll be just as cool as me, cool as me. Buy my hat, and you'll be just like me. Buy my hat, buy my hat, buy my hat, and you'll be a cool, cool modine. Buy my hat and buy my hat Yo, yo, buy my hat You better buy my hat Buy my hat Buy my hat, son Oh my god That hat is glorious I think I know what I want for Christmas Wait, not want, need Ooh, that new hat I've never seen anything like it Mom! That hat is unbelievable. Better than I could have ever dreamed. I need it for Christmas. Do you think we are made of money? I can't get you every little thing that your heart desires. I'm sorry. We just can't afford all that junk. But you get Kyle anything that he ever wants. Oh, come on. I don't want to go on and on about this stupid act. Get over it. But I need to know that I'm gonna get it for Christmas. I need to know that I'm finally gonna be cool. Oh, come on. A stupid hat isn't gonna make you cool. No, you don't seem to get it. This hat makes anyone cool. Ask Big Money Double Z. He'll tell you. Get that your Double Z number one hat, Big Money, whatever, out of here. Tell your father about it. You just don't get it, Mom. 
Dad! What the hell do you want? I'm busy. Can't you see me working? Dad, Dad, Mom just told me to tell you I need that hat for Christmas. She won't listen. I think you'll get it. Do you understand? God damn it, can't you see me working here? You're always asking for some needy, needy, needy. I need this, I want this. People in hell want a cold drink. <sighs> I'm so tired of hearing about this hat. What, it, you know, you're an ass hat. But I need the hat. If I don't get the hat, I don't know what I might do. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? I need this, I want this, I'm tired of it. Get the fuck out. I don't want to hear any more about that goddamned hat. <sighs> they just don't understand. I need it to be cool. I'm tired of being late. Hey, Kyle. What do you want? I'm trying to look at my DVDs here! Look, Kyle, can you please just try and convince Mom and Dad that I need the new Big Money Double Z hat? It's the only way I'm ever going to be cool. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I've got really important things to do in here with my DVDs. Like look at my DVDs, like categorize my DVDs, like review my DVDs, like kiss my DVDs, like masturbate to my DVDs, and maybe even try and fuck my DVDs. Ugh, too much information. Just please do. You have everything you could ever dream about, every DVD. And this is all I really need for Christmas. Just convince them, somehow, anyhow. All right, uh, yeah, whatever, okay? Oh, it should just fit just a little lube, and I can finally lose my virginity to a DVD. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Okay, boys, it's time to open your gifts. Mom, Dad, can I open mine first, please? Okay, if it's okay with Kyle, then you can go first. Sure, it's Christmas, go ahead. Well, we know you wanted a hat really bad, so there you go. There's a hat. <sighs> this wasn't the hat I wanted. This isn't it. You made a mistake. You must have made a mistake here. This isn't it. This isn't, this isn't gonna make me cool. It's a hat. A hat is a hat. And besides, the one you wanted was too pricey for us. He got everything he wanted this year. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Well, Kyle is a straight C student. He deserved those DVDs. Well, I should be just as important as that, Fatty. This isn't right. You'll be sorry. What, what, what's with him? What's his problem? We got him a stupid hat. Yeah. And what's with that damn shirt? He wears it every day. Oh Christ! It looks like somebody threw up. No, on he made what, it. Did he make it. Nazi he made it. Oh, that he makes made sense. it himself. Oh, with that hippy he dippy art teacher. He thinks he's going to make them and sell oh, them on, on eBay or she something. She has all asked for extra rubber bands from all the family members for the fucking time. It's bad. I don't oh, want one. I, I hope he doesn't make them. Boy, I don't one. either. <laughs> well, at least I got my DVDs. Jerk material for me. You know, I really thought they were going to come through for me this year, but I guess not. Yet again, Kyle gets his way and I get nothing. 
they foiled me again. This will not do. This won't do at all. Kyle is the perfect son for them, but somehow I just get shafted every year. Well, well, they're gonna regret it this year, I tell you what. I'm gonna do something unforgivable this year for their presence, because they didn't come through for me yet again. You know, I really feel bad. He really wanted that hat, honey. We should have gotten him that hat. It wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, it was expensive. We I couldn't know. afford that hat. On top of all those goddamn DVDs for Kyle. He just has to have them. So, you know, somebody has to suffer, so it had to be him. Yeah, he always gets the bad end of the deal. Oh, well, that's how it is. Oh. This, this will not do. Not again. This will not do. This will not do at all. Every year, that tubby bastard gets everything, every DVD he wants. I, everything he wants. I don't get one thing I need. I need this to be cool. Without it, I'm lame. And after tonight, I'm never gonna be lame again, because what I do, ooh, it's gonna fix them good. Ah! Hey, Mom and Dad, your favorite son is here, you know. The one you got exactly what he wanted for Christmas this year. What the hell do you want? Jesus, I just got to sleep. Mother and father, you didn't get me what I wanted for this Christmas. So you know what your present for me is? Death! The sweet release of death! You die! No! 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 no. Discs. Hello, brother. Are you all right? What happened? They didn't get me what I wanted. I just wanted to be cool. What did you do? They never cared about me. They never thought anything of me. It was always about you. Kyle this, Kyle that. Kyle, 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 Kyle. Oh my god, what did you do to mom and dad? Oh, you know, cut them up, a little dicing, a little slicing, and I'm gonna do the same to you, Kyle. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Chillo, DVD Blu-ray training stop. Well, let's just say I got a whole mess of DVDs and Blu-rays to trade in for y'all today. Ooh, I'll see you later. Oh man, with all that moolah, I'm gonna be able to afford every hat I've ever wanted. I'm gonna be the coolest guy around. <laughs> for Christmas, easier to dispose of your parents' stinking corpses after. And this blasphemous bowel movement is baby cakes. Put it in, Grandpa. Things just really got out of control. I mean, he's a good baby and all, it's just the things he's been doing lately, they just they don't make sense. What she's trying to say is, he just can't be left alone with people he doesn't know. That's why we brought you here. You know, we heard a lot of good things about you online and on television, and you are a master when it comes to putting little elementary babies and, and children in their place. Well, listen, you know, I'm gonna need a bigger picture if you could just kind of flesh out little, the little babies' behaviors and so I can, you know, get a more tactile sense of what's happening here. Well, I don't even know where to start. He only seems to eat the female babysitters and kill the male babysitters. <laughs> Not get off. What she's trying to say is he's only a bad baby when he's left alone with people he doesn't know. I see, I see. 
<sighs> Alright, here's what we'll do. Now tell me the incident. I want you to describe the incident that led you to call me at 2 a.m. in the morning. Well, yesterday Buddy and I went out for a nice candlelit dinner. So I hired the next day neighbor Sam to come over for a few hours. Thanks so much, Sam, for agreeing and babysitting baby cakes. Buddy and I rarely get to go out. Now remember, Sam, do not go in that room under any circumstances if you hear any noises whatsoever. Alright? We have him under heavy sedation. A big plane can crash down this motherfucker right now, and he won't wake up. You understand me? Okay, but I've been your neighbor for like two years now, I still don't know what little baby cakes looks like. Well, let's just say he doesn't like the outdoors that much, and he's very malnutrition, so we don't like taking him anywhere. Well, the doctor says he's special. But anyways, we gotta go. We're running late. We gotta get to the restaurant. I'm hungry as hell. Just call us if you need us. Right on, Mr. Driscoll. Don't worry, I'll make sure he's safe and sound. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Baby Cakes has been having very bad diarrhea lately, so if the air smells like shit, just spray a little bit of air freshener and when we get back, we'll change his diaper. Bobby, Bobby, come here. I want to see this thing already. Bing, did you see the baby yet? No. Did you see the baby? Relax, relax, relax. What? Let her take her time. No, 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 no. Man, I got the camera here. We're going to be rich and famous. We're going to be all over the National Enquirer with left hookers, sluts, jacuzzis. It's going to be famous. We have all the time in the world for sluts. We only have a little bit of time until the parents come back. Uh, okay. Right, Got to get the camera. Fuck! The stories and rumors I heard are true all along. Oh my god. Did you know this thing ate two babysitters before? Two females! You just got one right up! Have I heard? Who hasn't heard? Okay, let's get this thing started. Okay, I think I've heard enough. Let me see this baby of yours. Shit, I am going to kill you. 
dare you don't even speak English, you silly little infant of shit! This is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I imagined. I'm gonna need you to leave me alone, finish your cookie, no, no thank you, leave. Leave me alone with him, and I'm gonna work a little magic. Close it behind you, no thank you, goodbye. Mr. Rumpeldickskin wants to play. <laughs> Do you like it when Mr. Rumpeldickskin plays with you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 That is the worst baby I have ever dealt with in my entire career of baby training. Screw it. You're getting her all flustered. You're not going to leave us, are you? Because, you know, ba baby kinks need some training here, and you're the only professional we know. Now, long before I was a celebrity baby nanny guru, I did some time in Southeast Asia as a preacher. And I did some exorcisms there. I think there are dark forces at work here. That thing in there is an absolute cauldron of evil. So I think we're gonna have to perform an exorcism. You don't think our baby's possessed by demons, do you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You used to be an exorcist preacher? Why did you stop? Well, I was fired selling dope in a nun's outfit. That is immaterial. Sure this is gonna work? No, it should. But just remember. He who doth tamper with the forces of nature, open the door to disaster! <laughs> Just a little saying we used to say at the Brotherhood before an exorcism. No baby. Now, let's see here. Vaya con Dios, vidi vidi vinci, vaya. Vaya con Dios, vidi vidi vinci, vaya. Satan into his vessel. Baby cakes, 
will take over the world and everyone will bow down to us. <laughs> done. Don't you love when the Satan worshippers win in the end? I do. Brings a tear to my brown eye. All right, Oats, on to the next one. Oh, bloody hell. We're watching bloody hell. We got a little over 200 acres, so uh, perfect for camping. So that'll be good. Yeah. Are we there yet? Uh, no, about maybe 40 more miles. Get your damn dog off me! Why don't you pay more attention to that flea bag ears? It's okay, baby. It's okay. You want your flea bag? Do you really you think it was a good flea. idea to bring that dog along? Of course, she's the best oil tracker around. I need you guys to wait right here while I take a look around. I just gotta make sure that we're on the right property. All right. Um, while I'm gone, can you guys unload the stuff? Yeah. Right. I won't be long. Prospecting for some oil. Woo! I think that's all of it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yo, Max. This should be far enough. Emily, you got the. Sh 
shovel. And go out there yonder and pitch a tent. Thanks. You're the best. We should be up there in about uh, two hours. Well, Thanks. Alright. Here looks like a good spot. Here looks like a good spot to start digging, man. Never mind. Oh, oh my hands are freezing. Who else's hands are freezing? Alright. I like to And uh if you, uh, you want to take a break, you can. You can. Want. Okay, Jeff. Let's start. Can you, get the, can you get the oil rods ready? We're getting deep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Pretty soon the funnel tration will kick in. All right. We even planted the oil rod. Don't worry about the reinforcement. Yeah. Just got to pack this in, all right? Tomorrow we'll try and transplant the stuff, the oil, out of the ground into our bags. That Emily's got some nice big supper ready for us. I hope so. She's my idiot sister. I don't even know why we brought her along. Uh, Jake, Max, we had better head back to the tent. It's going to be dark soon. All right. Let's do that. Jeff. What? I think uh, I think I heard something out there. Can you check it out? Jake. Yeah. Shine your light. <sighs> what time is it? Two thirty. Where's Emily? Oh! 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 Uh, uh.
what a happy ending. That morbidly obese bastard lost weight the easy way. And this next one is The Prom, starring Don and Murph. Good find, Oats. second letter. Don't you remember the first one we got? You know, the one from the Mormon? Ah, uh, Murph, I don't know what you're talking about. I forget things within hours, sometimes within minutes. Oh, Don, that's fine. Some people remember things better than others. Uh, what? Don, may I please see the letter? What letter, Murph? <sighs> What's it say? What's it say, Murph? What's it say? It says, Dear Don and Murph, we are pleased to inform you that you have been invited to a special prom just for you for, all, for an award ceremony for all of the reviews that you've done over the last few years. The award ceremony will be held at Saskatchewan University. Wow, Murph! What are we going to wear on such an auspicious occasion? Hmm. I don't know. It should be something elegant yet snazzy, but not too formal at the same time. Huh. Let's just ask my parents, Murph. Mom! Dad! Me and Murph got invited to a prom just for us! What should we wear to such an auspicious occasion? Hold on. Auspicious? What the fuck is that? What? Prom? Who gives a shit, you fat fuck? Why don't you go to Omar the tent maker? See if he's got a tent to fit your ass. And that skinny bean pole, he can go as a goddamn pole. I don't know, Don. Don't ask me. And don't ask me for any more money. I just spent the last of my money on my special shake making magic bullet. So don't ask me for anything. Oh, come on, come on! We need something, please! Well, you know, on second thought, I think there's a tarp in the basement that I used to cover the car over when we went on trips. We could maybe make that fit your fat ass. That gives me a good idea. Why don't you get out our old graduation gowns and wear them? That would be a perfect thing to wear to the prom. Yeah, yeah, he could wear those. I don't know though, I don't think there's a hell, I don't think they're big enough. Maybe get down to the church and get the whole goddamn church choir and sew them all together, that'd work.
only my prom were like that. The only action I saw was a bunch of baby fetuses in the toilets. Good times. On to the next one, Caged Girl. That's the girl in my dreams down there. I want so bad to be with her. She'd never go for a guy like me. But she will be mine! Oh, no, 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 it's okay, don't be afraid. See, I'm your new boyfriend. New boyfriend? I don't know who the fuck you are. Just let me out of here before I bite your dick off. You're not going anywhere. You're mine now. And I'm gonna do whatever I want with you. If you don't let me out of here, my father will kill you. He knows karate. <laughs> Boo-boo-coo, I ain't afraid of that shit. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. And when I see you tomorrow, you better be a better girlfriend. Otherwise, I don't even want to say, because I'm a good Christian. Breakfast. Yeah. 
Young one, young one, awaken from your dream state. I brought you something to munch on. bathroom or any shower or anything. You can piss yourself for all I care. Patterson, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a busy day. This is the office of Hanson & Sons, the realtors. I just wanted to make sure everything's working out with your new house because uh, we care here at Hanson & Sons. This is what I do. I follow up on all my business transactions because I look forward to a, few, a, a, a long relationship in the real estate realm and that continuing this, this of our relationship, it's, it's just absolutely tantamount. Oh, well, the house is great, but I can't help but overlook the fact that my daughter is missing. Yeah, yeah, I'm really concerned about that. But you know, let me let me just tell you, one father to another, don't worry, she'll be back. Girls will be girls. Plus, all little bitches are all fucking sluts anyway. She's probably out sucking the neighbor's dog's dick, little whore. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. It was nice talking to you. Just remember, you could always call to the offices of Hanson & Sons, where we deeply care. physical now? You know, when I put my male thing in your female thing? You know. Oh no! I smell down there. Like fish. I haven't had a shower in days. And my clothes are filthy. Oh no, don't worry about it. Smells like that don't bother me. I love fish. Oh, well, it bothers me quite much. I went off first time to be special. Something erotic, something you see on one of those movies on TV late at night. I don't want to smell terrible for you. You always remember that. All right, I guess that makes sense in a way. But I really do love that smell. So listen, 
I have an idea. How about this? You let me go upstairs and let me take a shower. Of course you lock me in. And while you lock me in the shower and I'm, you know, cleaning everything, you go to the store and pick me up some new accessories for females and some new clothes. How about it? Huh. That sounds fine to me. Let's go. up, no more fish smell, nice squeaky clean, new clothes, feminine accessories, you ready to get physical now? Oh, I can't. Why not? I've done everything for you and given you everything you've asked for. What else could there be? Well, I was thinking about you in the shower and I was feeling myself, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm not really sure, but continue? What I'm saying is, I'm all dried up and prunish. Alright, I'm gonna go to my room and play with myself. Hey, babe. You ready now? Oh, boy, I'm ready! Oh, you're making me so horny. Oh, you're making me so wet. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Favorites. 
that hottie had all the men after her. I'm surprised you all managed to stick around in one piece. Well, this next one will definitely leave a bad taste in your mouth. It's a pain in the gums. What the hell is wrong with my mouth? for the last four years? Oh, well, yeah, but I'm doing a lot of volunteer work and uh, uh, I, I babysit a lot. Well, that makes up for a fun-filled four years. I've always kind of, uh, you know, wanted to be in, in broadcasting. Shut the fuck up! Excuse me? Not who are you, you talking to? Oh, uh, who was I talking to? Oh, ah, nobody. I wasn't talking to anybody. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Did you just tell me to shut the fuck up? No, 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 I, I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say anything, no, uh -uh. go, go, go on, you, you were saying? Well, my father's been running this company for the last 22 years. Okay, you know what, you ungrateful piece of trash? Get the hell out of my office. Right. Have a nice day! Fuck my life! What a fucking nut job. I'll never hire anyone with those worth ethics. Now, time to get back to business. Step inside, Chandler. You're letting all the flies out. Shut up! 
You gotta leave. I don't want to eat. You go to hell. You can't stab me. Damn it. I'll get rid of you. Yeah, I'm gonna starve you. I'll starve you till you die. And then I'll fucking spit you back down into the sink drain. You fucking bitch. Hurry up and feed me. I don't want to feed you. Leave me alone. No. Okay, fine. The show is all over. We have to get going to our second job. Tommy has a part three! Tommy has a part three! Tommy has a part three! Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 